During the last six months of his life, Liam Payne had sought expert guidance from a friend in South America. Payne, who was tragically discovered dead in Buenos Aires on Wednesday last week after falling from the third-story window of his hotel room, referred to his Argentinian friend Roger Knowers as his manager, according to multiple sources. In Wellington, Florida, he and Roger had been living in each other's pockets. Knowers resides at Gonzalo Avendano's Florida guest house and is close to the Megabucks investor. Although he had recently moved to his own property a few streets away, Payne briefly shared the main house with Avendano and his family after introducing the former member of One Direction to Avendano. Liam had many aspirations for the future, such as opening a recording studio and starting his own company. He had also been in negotiations to go on tour. It was disclosed yesterday, but there were concerns about how he would handle the strain. There was a great deal of unease among his friends that this was a bad idea, one person added. After Payne started acting strangely in the hotel lobby last Wednesday, Knowers, the head of an energy fund, was among the last persons to see him alive. He was photographed escorting him to his room in an elevator. According to a source in the music business, he didn't have a formal manager for the last six months, but he would talk about Roger as his manager. Over the past six months, there appeared to be a shift in emphasis. It appeared to be more about embracing a lot of new concepts, endeavors, and enterprises than it was about attempting to assist him with his severe addiction issues. Roger was someone to call to get through to Liam, according to another source. Building the band on Netflix was one of Payne's undertakings. Fifty vocalists compete to form a band in it without ever meeting. He served as a mentor to Kelly Rowland and Nicole Scherzinger. Substance abuse is thought to have contributed to Payne's death. According to local sources, Knowers has accused hotel employees of supplying him drugs. Simon Oliveira previously managed Payne at Doyen Global from 2016 to 2021. Steve Finn O'Connor, the husband of former Olympic athlete Denise Lewis, then took over as his manager. During times when he was having trouble staying sober and dealing with other problems, such as the disintegration of his relationship with Cheryl Tweedy, the mother of his seven-year-old son Bear, Payne stayed with their family. According to sources, Harry remained friendly with Simon Cowell, the X-Factor boss who had chosen him to be a member of One Direction. However, there was conflict with Modest, management's bosses, who at the time handled all of the X-Factor acts. Toward the conclusion of 1D, everyone, except Neil, Horan, detested Modest, according to one source. The employer, Richard Griffiths, was very strict and headmastery. They really put a lot of effort into them. Modest, rapidly became quite wealthy. In order for 1D to concentrate on the upcoming album while touring the present one, they build up a mobile recording studio during one tour. Bang, 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 five albums in five years. One way to look at it is that they were run into the ground, but another approach is that they had a brief period of time when they were the largest band in the world and took advantage of the fact that it would not last forever. I recall the boys getting up at 3 a.m. on tour to sneak out and get tattoos, and then having to get up at 6 a.m. to travel, according to another insider. It was an insane existence.